catch fish. What's going on guys? It's Oklahoma Outdoorsman here today. Today, I am going to be showing you the first aid kit that my wife and I made for her car. So, we've got it in a little heart toolbox. And this isn't everything we have for her in her, tool, in her first aid kit, but it is a lot of what we have. Reason I say it isn't everything because we can't fit our alcohol and our peroxide and stuff like that inside of here without taking up so much more space from other things. So we have this and then we have another little container with some of our alcohol and our peroxide and stuff like that. Anyway, I'm gonna show you this. This is just a basic ouchie boo boo kit. Uh, we plan on traveling a lot. Uh, if you didn't know, my wife is a CNA and I actually am going to school to be a CNA. So we are going to plan on traveling. Um, we'll get a little more in depth on that on some, some other day, but on traveling, we wanted to be able to have a first aid kit that we could fit our basic needs if something were to happen on the way. So here's kind of where we're at. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. This does have two spots to place things. It's got a top section and a bigger intersection. I'm gonna start with the top section. All right, I'm going to move y'all a little closer so we can actually see a little bit better. Two seconds later. Okay, so I hope y'all can see everything okay. We have opened up the top section here. And what we have in it, we're going to start from down here and work our way this way. We have some several different kinds of band-aids. Sterile bandages, blah, blah, blah. Band-aids there, smaller bandages here even smaller band-aids here I don't know why these are over here oh butterfly butterfly bandages we have some soaps in here lotion soaps uh, hand soaps in here this is a and d ointments you can't see that little individually packaged a and d ointment we've got a couple of those have some triple antibiotic ointment liquid band-aid this stuff works great and then probably the most important thing we have up in here is a couple of these little packages of bleed stop or quick clot basically you take these you rip this open and it has this powdery substance in it take this and you pour it on wherever you are heavily bleeding and it should stop the bleeding okay we have more spots open we uh i believe we had some chapstick in here as well my wife used that already so all right and then inside here a little bit bigger a little more a little more uh substance than what we have in here uh we'll start right here on top some wound wash this is a saline solution basically you use this before you do anything with a wound if we're going to pack a wound or anything we would use this one of the most important things in here we have a tourniquet this is just a basic cheap tourniquet but everyone in our family knows how to use these my little boy even kind of somewhat knows how to use it so that's something that i believe everyone should know how to use we have a bunch of these gauze pads these are just medium gauze pads. Um, let's see, we've got quite a few of these. Okay, quite a few of those gauze pads for wound packing and stuff like that if anything were to happen. We do have some disposable gloves. They are latex-free gloves. These are for my wife's hands. My hands will not fit in those. But something were to happen we had to apply some of that bleed stop on somebody else we definitely would want to have gloves we threw in a couple of the uh feminine hygiene products just because you know traveling you might run out you never know so those are for my wife bunches more of those gauze pads we have mediums and i think we have larges in here as well now yeah 
some large gauze pads in here. Since we don't have chest seals or anything like that, gauze pads are what we kind of have to go with. I'm gonna put all that back so we can get into the other stuff. My wife would kick my butt if I didn't put this in here, right? So. Uh-oh, sorry guys. Okay, that should work. In our first little cubby here, we have a bunch of the rolled gauze. This is great for packing wounds. We have multiple of those. I believe, yeah, it looks like four of them. Then we have some of the, uh, I call it medical tape, but in case we have to roll the gauze around something to support it, we have the tape taped off as well. Get back in there. Okay. This little tub, I believe, is all bandages, bigger bandages. Let's just pull it out. Yeah, these are going to be the heavier duty bandages. This is just a, uh, like I said, it is basically just an ouchie boo boo kit. So, bandages galore and alcohol prep pads. That's upside down to y'all, but it'll be okay. Then we have some non stick pads with adhesive tabs. Get that back in there. And small gauze pads to tape down. Normally, we also have BC powder in here. I forgot to mention that. And then we have our little thing of medi medications as well as a Walmart bag. Just basic medica medications. We have some ibuprofen, full bottle, allergy relief, so Benadryl in case uh, an allergic reaction, and regular acetaminophen. We also carry a EpiPen in the car. Uh, we normally have one in here. I don't know why it's not in here actually, but that's generally everything we have inside that kit. Like I said, normally we do have an EpiPen and uh, our alcohol and our hydrogen peroxide is normally not in here, but it's in a separate tub as well. So this is what we kind of decided on for her. We needed her to have a little bit bigger of a first aid kit than what the stores were offering. We could have ordered a bigger one off Amazon that would have had just about everything we need, but I still know we need a couple more things. So if you guys can think of anything else that we need in here, just uh, comment down below what else you think we need. And uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.